businesses over the next several months. We happen to like Energy Master Limited partnerships uh, that offer 10% plus yields, much of which is tax deferred. Uh, so you've got a good, stable cash. Hi, well, I'm a um, credit analyst for a large um, Japanese asset manager, um, which is part of a, a large uh, Japanese um, banking group. And as a, as a credit analyst, um, I um, effectively um, look at over 100 companies and, um, and try and provide uh, recommendations for our portfolio managers to invest uh, in our portfolios. Okay. And what does a typical week, if there is such a thing, uh, look like for you? Yeah, a typical week is um, basically uh, monitoring and, um, and analysing companies. These are existing companies that we have in our portfolio, so that's um, looking at news flow and looking at um, accounts and talking to management and other analysts and also looking for new opportunities as well. Um, the key thing is to always make sure we're looking for new opportunities to add to the portfolios. Right. What kind of objectives would be set for a, a credit analyst? In other words, how do people know that you're doing a good job or a bad job? Yeah, well, it's very easy to know the bad jobs because when the bad bad things happen, they happen very quickly. And and this is effectively a company bankruptcy is is, is when it really goes bad. Um, but generally, generally speaking, uh, we have um, assets in portfolios and they're monitored, and our recommendations are also monitored as well. So it's it can become quite clear if you're doing a good or bad job. So it's really largely about the quality of the recommendations that you make. That's exactly right, yeah. Quality of the recommendation, um, because a poor recommendation can end up um, uh, with losing uh, significant amounts of, of money for the portfolio. And mm. it's, as, as an analyst yourself, that can be quite bad from a reputation point of view. Mm. And what are your likes and dislikes uh, about the role? Yeah, the general likes about the role is you can be, uh, although there can sometimes be some bureaucracy within the organisation, Generally speaking, it is quite an autonomous role. Um, there's not a huge management structure, so you pretty much have some objectives and then you're um, left alone to, um, to, to get on with that. And, and as we talked before, uh, and then as long as you, your recommendations are of good quality, you're pretty much okay. Okay, is there any teamwork involved? Um, there is an element of teamwork in the sense that when we make when we make decisions on a company, if we make a, a buyer recommendation, we'll have a uh, we'll have a committee effectively. Um, so I might make a recommendation and then my colleagues will come together and we will, uh, they'll agree or disagree on my recommendation. So most of the time we do work alone, but then we do have discussions to, um, to bring it all together. Okay. Um, what are some of the biggest challenges uh, that you've come across? I think the biggest challenge is probably information overload. For example, I, I cover between about 70 and 100 companies and at various times of the year, you just have information coming all the time, so it's really trying to see through, um, see through the noise, and uh, making sure you actually understand uh, what is important uh, with, 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 with what the companies are saying.